So uh, this is uh, in many ways uh, uh, very exciting because I think we've been on the sort of fringes of uh, uh, doing our content stuff. Uh, I was at uh, BBH, Peter was talking about TV channels. We were doing uh, a TV channel for Audi uh, um, eight years ago and I remember uh, um, Sir John now uh, being very rude about the uh, production values and, and things like that. So it's great to see uh, uh, lots of this come uh, uh, sort of centre centre stage. Uh, and, and it's interesting, this excitement about the, the C word, because in many ways the last period uh, has really all been about the, the D word or about uh, kind of platforms. Everyone's going, we must have, we must switch on our... our uh, Instagram uh, uh, channel, we must get our, our Facebook audiences to one million uh, 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 members. What are we going to put on there? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's get on with it. Uh, uh, switch it on. Uh, uh, and so, uh, um, it, you know, it's really uh, um, interesting to uh, um, see this come centre stage. And I think one of our observations at the moment is uh, it's such an exciting time because there are so many uh, platforms and opportunities out there, but so many of those platforms are, are empty. There are brands with channels who literally now have nothing to say, uh, but perhaps give away a bit of product on, on Friday. And I think, <laughs> I, I think part of that is because we underestimate what a big change uh, um, creating uh, um, content is. It, it really is a very different approach uh, and maybe with very different people. It's not as some think, uh, get very excited because they've gone, God, I was only allowed to do a 30 second ad and now I can make uh, a two hour uh, uh, long ad. It's not, uh, it's not about that. Um, it's not, I think, and we may come back to this in the kind of conversations, just because I can, because I've done exciting meetings with exciting people, uh, and I'm, I'm just going to create some stuff. And, it, and it's maybe, it's a bit more fundamental than saying I'm going to put technology at the heart of the business. Uh, um, it, it really is a bigger uh, um, leap. It's about creating new kinds of ideas, I think, uh, more editorially rich ideas, uh, uh, and about creating stories and things that people care about. And I'm going to come on talk about that, that, that kind of specifically. And I think the thing that always helps us is this is not about advertising at all. These are, are media-wide uh, uh, kind of issues. And if you look at other businesses that are doing this really well, you look at uh, how Channel 4 is the, the UK broadcaster that's trailblazing and creating multimedia output. They're transforming the way documentaries, uh, uh, um, entertainment shows like Skins are telling stories uh, in social media. I think that's really powerful. Uh, you look at what Time Warner is doing to address the YouTube space, the buying maker studios, the biggest uh, 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 kind of hub of, of YouTube, YouTube uh, vloggers that we were, we were kind of talking about moments before uh, uh, um, to get this right. So I think it, it, these are really uh, uh, big, uh, big fundamental changes. So. I thought in that uh, spirit, we, there might be just three musings that we have learnt uh, uh, um, or are trying to learn on our, our journey that really affect the kind of output uh, that, that we get to. And uh, I wanted to uh, share uh, those uh, today. Uh, and those are broadly, uh, I'm going to come back to this, uh, about definition of content, about how we package content uh, and um, how we uh, execute uh, content as well. And I was going to use, uh, Peter mentioned uh, lots of, uh, at Cannes this year we did very well with uh, some Bombay Safa work. There's uh, uh, um, some work we're just doing now globally for Bombay Safa that we're very proud of and I was going to use some of that to um, evidence uh, what we're uh, um, talking about. Uh, the first thing I should say is actually um, what we wanted to talk about today uh, was content uh, proper, not uh, branded content, because we are, we passionately believe uh, branded content is potentially a horrible trap uh, uh, for people. Uh, it is the kind of poor advertising or poor content that frankly uh, wouldn't happen uh, without your money. Um, it's like having a spare room at home. It's where you put all the, the kind of odds, uh, odds and sods. And I think when we were setting up what we do, uh, to keep us honest on that front, our, our uh, uh, focus is we work 60% on work for brands uh, and 40% of what we do is creating content for ourselves. So we are part agency, we are a producer, and we're also a media owner. So with production, our first content-only project, No Brands Attached, is an entertainment show that goes out on Channel 4, uh, hopefully in about six weeks' time. Uh, um, that's a Friday night entertainment show. Uh, and as a media owner, when we were talking about YouTube bloggers, uh, we have a YouTube-funded uh, fashion uh, uh, shopping 
uh, a celebrity channel called Fashtag, which is now part of a, a network. And it, it's that, that, that breadth of approach and those learnings and those skills and those people that I think uh, hopefully uh, help us to get to um, quite different uh, um, outputs. Anyway, so if I was just to crack on uh, with um, the, these three musings, and I should also say I'm intending to play quite a lot of uh, videos. I'm going to say uh, I'm going to try and say less and let some of the films do the talking. But um, the first theme that was really important, and I'm going to apologise for a sweeping generalisation, uh, but the way uh, uh, it, it is interesting to us, um, particularly um, when thinking about advertising, is often advertising is things that, as a business, we want to tell consumers. That's an important distinction because for us, when we are thinking about consumers, the thing that is most important is that we're creating things that people want to spend time with. Um, and when we do that, these things are invariably, uh, they are uh, um, uh, either informative, and, and this is not new and fangled. Uh, um, you know, we go back to uh, our favourite example of, of, of uh, great branded content is great content is the Michelin Guide back in 1920. Two brothers see growing middle class, rise of car ownership, uh, um, and think how can we create uh, content that would be useful to them, um, or uh, it might be um, entertaining uh, um, content. And um, you know, I think the biggest. Um, event of last year, it was extraordinary, was an Austrian man standing on the edge of space with a parachute uh, on the back, an uh, extraordinary project. But I think what all of these have in, in common is, uh, um, and I think this may uh, hopefully become part of the discussion later, is there are, there are things where there is a value exchange. The consumer takes something from uh, um, them, they care about them, and I think um, that is uh, um, particularly important. And uh, in, in the context of uh, Bombay Sapphire, if I just explain this project, um, imagination has always been an intrinsic part of the, the Bombay uh, Sapphire story. They came to us, they wanted to stop uh, um, talking about imagination and start doing imagination. They wanted to empower uh, um, consumers. And this is a trailer for the platform we developed. And at the end of the presentation, I'll play some of the output of that. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Fletcher screenwriter of the film Precious. I've written a short script, stripped of any direction, and along with Bombay Sapphire, we want you to use your imagination to bring it to life. We'll choose five to fund and recreate as short films. Here are a few tips on using your imagination to create this project. First, choose your genre. How about a romance? Or a drama? A musical? Or an action movie? Now you might want to think about casting. Use your imagination. Hey, why not? And how many characters would you like to use? Just one? Or a whole squad? What production techniques do you prefer? Computer animation? 3D stereoscopic film? Or plain live action? Next up, think about your locations. Is it set in the great outdoors, in a city, underwater? And finally, in what period would you set it? Is it in the past, the present, or in the future? And that's it. Keep it simple, and as I said, the five chosen treatments get to see their ideas bring my script to life. So that, that message from uh Oscar winner Jeffrey Fletcher is open to everyone. Entries close on uh, um, Sunday. We are still uh, for the second year, and uh, uh, we are uh, we'd welcome any uh, entries from anybody who'd like to get uh, um, involved. Um, the um, the the second theme then um, is one that particularly um, interests us, and, and it's a sort of different um, a, approach to. Um, uh, um, advertising. Um, often advertising, you know, and uh, advertising is intuitively a, a, an interruptive media. It interrupts the, the, the main event, the thing it was part of, whether it was a, a newspaper editorial or a TV program or, or, or whatever. Um, it, it has a very quick start. There's a very fixed length of period. Uh, um, and then you're out of the, the, the program, uh, or you, sorry, you're out of the ad with an end line at the beginning. Um, the thing that interests us is when you become the, the main event, uh, an end line 
uh, isn't useful. You don't have any shape or, or structure. And actually, beginning lines and, and titles become more important. I was reflecting here, this is the Book of the Damned. At the top, there is the, the, the uh, end line, uh, one of the greatest books ever written. You can't get that. Uh, if you ask for that in a bookshop, you won't get it. Uh, uh, with titling, you need it because that's how you're going to be searched for. That's how people are going to uh, recognize you. Uh, that's how people are going to know uh, um, what's uh, um, important. And that becomes your intellectual property and something that you, you build in. And I think in, in this culture where with new media players like BuzzFeed uh, and things like that, we were, which are pulling up um, the most interesting bits of uh, content and experiences uh, online, this titling becomes even more important um, than, um, than ever before. And I think that's why with Bombay Sapphire, the Imagination series became uh, our, our title because um, the, uh, um, it, it was the central part of um, everything that, that we did. Um, and um, I'll come on to uh, a bit more about that in a second. But it's also interesting with titles that often uh, around content, uh, titles are a promise of what's to come. They're a, a promise of consistency. Uh, we often reflect that um, you know, one of my favorite formats is Desert Island Discs. You know, there are loads of interviews all over the world. Uh, there is only one interview format like that that has uh, lasted for, for 70 years. And it's interesting where in our business, often uh, um, provocatively, marketing directors are, are moving quickly through jobs and want to change things when they arrive. Uh, and agencies have business models which are, are often reward tearing up the last campaign and start anew, that actually uh, it doesn't necessarily lead to uh, this kind of work. Um, so a uh, final point uh, is just around uh, um, creating context for the work, because I think the important thing often with content is you're not starting with a blank sheet of uh, uh, um, uh, paper. Uh, the, the strategy uh, as much comes in uh, the, you know, the, the execution of uh, what you're doing and understanding the environments in which you're going to uh, um, appear. And that, that understanding of the envi those environments, that respect for those environments, environments becomes all important, doesn't it? It becomes important when I'm, through social media, going to become part of a campaign uh, do I feel respected if I'm being uh, asked whether uh, I scrunch or fold my loo roll? Uh, uh, that is a, uh, as a, I'm a, an uptight Scotsman, that's a private habit. I'm not going to put that social, on social media and I'm not going to share it with, with a brand. Uh, it, it, it's also, it, 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 it's about respecting uh, um, us as an industry and maybe as consumers as well when we claim we were looking earlier, um, we were looking at a top three beauty brand that had a film on uh, YouTube uh, with three million views, and I look at my numbers here, it had three million views, but had 40 likes uh, and, and, th and three comments. Uh, now those are, are bought and served ads, aren't they? They're, they're, they're not like the, the, the top three vlogger uh, in the beauty market who has similar amount of views, but has 20,000 uh, likes and has 3,000 comments because that it's an engaging part of, bit of content that uh, uh, um, people um, care about. And, and so understanding uh, how we would execute the Bombay Sapphire film uh, um, platform, uh, for us, uh, credibility in the film industry was, was all important, which is why when we had the idea for the script, we started with Oscar winner Jeffrey uh, um, Fletcher and uh, partnered with um, Oscar winner Adrian Brody as well as part of the platform. Uh, we made sure, and this wasn't, uh, uh, we made sure the films were uh, incredibly uh, uh, strong or that we were, we were going to be really uh, proud of them. Um, and, uh, you know, we were, we were very committed to, to, um, to doing that properly. Um, and, that, and you see that when it, it you know, that leads to, uh, uh, you know, the campaign being picked up incredibly strongly with organic views. It was selected by, for example, Vimeo as one of the global picks in the first week. Howard Stern is talking about the, the content on, its, uh, on his radio show, and it's leading to uh, um, uh, uh, very high uh, um, viewing. So th those were three very quick uh, uh, themes. I was then going to show... Uh, um, one of the films that resulted from that Bombay uh, Sapphire campaign that took uh, some of these uh, um, themes to heart. Um, 
this film uh, premiered, uh, was one of five films from that original uh, um, script. Uh, it was created uh, by a guy who'd never um, directed before, uh, but we put an incredible production team around him to support. Uh, uh, it was one of five winning entries. There were entries from 34 uh, um, countries uh, around the world, and um, I think Bombay Sapphire and, and ourselves are, are, are very proud of it. Также причинение вредительству самому себе и тюремному имуществу приведет к заключению в одиночной книге. Камеры регулярно обыскивают и при обнаружении запрещенных предметов любой заключенный принесет суровое наказание. Birthday, mate. Hi. Hi. So, what's your name? How long have you been here? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. What's that? Nothing. Stop. Why? Don't open it. Why not? Because you might regret it. I think I'm going to take my chances. Fine. Go ahead. Open it. <sighs> Did you make this? Say something. Would you have believed me? Where are you going? It's not obvious. Open the box. Come on, open the box. So long, pal. 
Le dice sa Cruciova. That, that was one of the uh, five films. So it's the same script, five very different interpretations. Uh, uh, that's our more high concept one. Then there was animations and um, all sorts. But I think it's interesting when we talk about um, content later and whether uh, um, the content measures up to the brand. One of the things where uh, with Bombay Sapphire was particularly important that it had that elegance and brand integrity. Great, thank you.